Right, boys and girls, form's been peaks and troughs. We've been on a good run recently. We've now got Tottenham in the Papa John's Trophy. See how we get on. Hello guys, David here and welcome back to episode number 40 of Hometown Hero. In today's episode, we are facing up against Tottenham, under 23s, and Plymouth in the League 2. Um, in the League 2? Yeah, we'll run with it anyway. Since you're last with us, we have been pretty good, in all fairness. Um, the last two games we played, we were against Newport County and we drew that game and we also drew against Salford City. But then we've won three on the tr three on the spin and we're actually unbeaten in six, which is quite good. Um, including a very nice 2-0 victory against Grimsby. Two late goals from Tommy Wright after he came on as a substitute. Very pleased with that. A dismantling of Bradford where we scored three goals inside 20 minutes and then a turnaround victory against Burton Albion away from home. I'm pretty pleased at the moment and as you can see I don't need to just notice this myself four and a half thousand people nearly turned up to watch us at Victoria Park trounce Bradford so a nice little feeling but anyway we face up against Tottenham in the first game and we face up against Plymouth in the second but where we are in the league is sixth we're in the playoffs as it stands. Got a good healthy goal difference. I'm pretty pleased at the moment. And Arthur Okonkwo is quite a player. Uh, he's 10 games, 8 conceded, 6 clean sheets. So when he has conceded, he's conceded a few. But he's been fantastic for us. He has been a revelation. We've struggled for a goalkeeper. We've got one now. He's not playing in this game though against Tottenham because it's a cup game. So let's go and show you who's going to be facing the pitch against the Tottenham under 23s, which if I should go back to this screen, oh, how did I get there before? How do I go back to it? Um, I don't know how I do it. Is it on the next screen? I'll hopefully see it on the next screen. But they've got Troy Parrott up top, who's valued at about 12 and a half million at the moment, so he can't be that bad. And apparently, they are not a very good team up front. I don't know how that's happened. And I've also just noticed that my team is a little bit off. Where's Hemmings? There he is. Just noticed that Hemmings is. He's not in, not in the squad where he should be. And Rodba should be up there as well. And then we're going to make one of the changes as well. There we go. Sorted. Fixed it. All done. All happy. Right. This is going to be the team we're going to face up against Tottenham under 23s in the Papa John's Trophy. Um, we have been playing the 4-2-3-1 a lot recently. But I have noticed that if I go through the... Um, the analyst reports that we play really well against 4-3-3s and 4-2-3-1s and we play the 4-4-2. And I noticed it when I saw Troy Parrott was in the team. So we're going to go with the 4-4-2 to try and counteract that if we can. The team we're going to put out in this one is just a little bit changed from what we normally have. But it's going to be Rollins in goal. Mason, Sutcliffe, Janjeva and Kessler is the back four. Hemmings, Harry Owen, Jack Cham Chambers and Thistleton in the midfield. And then Tommy Wright and Aaron Owen up top. Let's get into the game. Let's see how we get on. Um, you see, yeah, quite a few changes. Harry Owen's still peeved that he's been playing out of position. I'm not asked, Harry. I'm not bothered. Deal with it. You have no problem with playing in that position. You're good at it. Deal with it. Um, he's probably a bit annoyed because I'm playing him in the base of the midfield in the games up until this point. He's probably a little bit annoyed. I've just shifted him forwards, but oh well. Not to matter. Let's skip through this. Let's get this out of the way. And we've got... Spurs under 23 is at our place. I don't recognise any other names on there. Did I see Troy Deeney for a second there? Surely not. Surely there is a limit on under 23s in this side. Surely you can't have a 37, 38 year old Troy Deeney in the squad. Also, why would he have gone to Tottenham? Makes no sense. Um, that's not a very good goal to concede, Callum. I've got to be honest. That was really disappointing. I don't know how he's not managed to save that because he was right in front of the ball. Ted Lasso, formerly of Apple TV fame. Passes it to G old Jezza, and I mean defensively, that's a bit of a shambles, isn't it? Kessler should have got on the end of that header. He should have stopped the stopped um, the goal scorer from getting the header on target in the first place. And Callum Rollins probably should have saved that, to be honest. Room for improvement, chaps, all over the part there. Chambers plays it out to Mason, who gives Harry Owen the ball, plays it back to Jack Chambers. Nice little bit of interplay. The gingers in the middle of the field. Never noticed that before. Hemmings playing it around really nicely. Mason, oh my goodness me. Do you know what I was just about to say? Mason's not really been very good recently. Wow. What a finish that was. You absolute barnstormer. He's thunder punted it. No, I didn't go for the naughty word. He's absolutely 
smashed that in. Sensational stuff from the young lad on loan from South End, and we've got a goal back, and we're now sitting second in the table. Harry Owen going to whip a corner in. No one on the end of it, though. He goes back out to him. He's got a second bite of the cherry. Loses it. He's getting a third bite of the cherry. What's he going to do with it? Whips the ball. Aaron Owen. Tommy Wright. Oh, how's he missed? Oh, he's offside anyway. How on earth did he miss that? Get your head over the ball, son. It's not difficult. Oh, yeah. This is the whole thing with like penalties won and stuff like that. So we're on three points, even though we've won and drawn a game, which is strange. But I guess you get two points for winning on penalties, I assume. Stupid trophy. I hate the Papa John's trophy. It's such a waste of time. Should have been called the Johnston's Paint Trophy. That's how I remember it. That's how it should be. Going the Papa John's trophy. Oh, it makes no sense. Stupid. Anyway, we're getting towards half time. We've not we've actually had the better of the game, I would say. We haven't had much of the ball, but we have more chances, which is quite nice. Um so the 4-4-2 working at the moment. Harry Owen gets another corner, whips it in. Tommy Wright can't get on the end of it. Why is Aaron Owen not on the end of those, please? We'll figure that out in a minute. Harry Owen, Jack Chambers, back to Owen again. Back to Chambers. Back to Owen. Takes a shot. Ah, oh, not the best. Not the best shot in the world. Remember, if you want to have one of these players in your in the save, become yourself. Just giving link in the description. Minimum of a fiver. If you want to donate more, that's fine with me too. It all supports a fantastic cause. And you get your name in the game. And there's plenty of people who have got that chance now. You just need to take it. And it doesn't cost much. I know we're in lockdown, but if we're in lockdown, you should have more money. Let's be honest. Millwall are beating Walsall by the looks of it in our in our, uh, in our leagues. A little group. Ball comes in. Oh, good save. Callum making up for the one in the start of the game. Lovely save, that man, from the young lad. Aaron Owen gets the ball. Tommy Wright is fed, gets tackled. Hemmings picks it up and the highlight finishes. But that was a lovely save from Aaron, from Callum Rollins there, I've got to say. Uh, we're going to bring off this guy. We're going to bring off Sam, uh, Miles Hemmings and bring on Sam Rodber. And I'm going to bring off Jack Chambers. I'm going to bring Sam Perry on instead i'll play him as that box to box midfielder because i've just remembered that they're both playing as deep line playmakers which is not the end of the world but it's not great they've now brought dane scarlet on and if you didn't know i did a save with tottenham at the start of the football manager 2021 cycle in the beta i had to blog it because of course i didn't have a computer to do it on but um he's very good is, is that man very very good indeed and the beauty of this is, is the fact that I've got Kane Kessler who can play on the wing as well. So he can shift forward. Brooklyn Genesee can come on and uh, a very tired Dylan Thistleton could be replaced. But it looks like we might be going to penalties again. Went to penalties in the last one when we played uh, played Walsall. I say drew with them, so they've gone back. Walsall have turned it around against Millwall, incredibly enough, so that that's changed. And I've also just realised that I can click Callum's little picture down in the corner and it picks the penalties for me. I don't need to pick them myself, so I'm very, very glad I could do that. Uh, team talk wise, try to relax, be decisive and know where you're putting the penalty. That seems like a good idea. And let's just do the pump fists. Let's get them all motivated before the shootout actually happens. So come on. Who would have thought we'd get penalties in today's episode? Wonderful stuff. See if we can get one over the Tottenham under 23s. Aaron Owen tucks it away with a plomb for the first penalty. Dane Scarlett's coming up now. We'll see what he can do. I say he's a very, very good player after a couple of years, and he manages to tuck that one away. I hope this isn't going to keep shifting us up and down as we win or as we got score or don't score penalties, because that's going to be annoying, that little thing popping up in the corner. Tommy Wright steps up, and I think it's happening. I think it's going to update every single time a penalty goes in, which is a little bit annoying. Lasso steps up. Oh, that was close. That was close. Callum nearly saved it. Of course, Callum has saved a penalty in this series. If you remember, he saved one in the final episode of last season, which was good. Harry Owen makes no mistake, sends the keeper the wrong way. Puente steps up now. No idea who this guy is. Of course, we're so far in, we're starting to see fake people. The new gens are appearing all over the show. So he probably is. Speaking of which, Mason's going to step up. So Luke Mason on loan from South End. Keep went the right way. I was a little bit worried there. I'm going to be completely honest. Good lift. That doesn't even sound like a real name. Steps up. Callum saves it. Come on, Callum. You absolute legend. Love to see it. Certainly made up for that mistake in the first game, and it's going to be Sam Perry who's going to come up to try and give us another win, which would be quite nice. 
Um, although I don't like the Papa John's trophy, it's still nice to win all these games. It keeps the momentum and it keeps motivation and he's done it. And they're running off like they've won a trophy. You've just won a game on penalties, lads. It's practically a friendly, but we roll on in the, in the Papa John's trophy and we've beaten Tottenham, boys and girls. We've beaten Tottenham, which is big. It's big, big, big. And we've got some money for it as well. What are we looking at financially speaking? We're actually losing a lot of money. That's not good. Uh, projections wise, that's even worse. <laughs> that's not good at all. We are spending a lot more on wages than we normally do. In fairness, we need a big FA Cup run. That's what we need. But in the meantime, we're going to motor on to the next game, which is going to be at home to Plymouth. Alrighty then, folks, back at the Victoria Park Stadium or back at Victoria Park. I don't know why I keep calling it the Victoria Park Stadium. Anyway, I digress. Plymouth, of course, in the le in the league now. Uh, we're sixth. They're 18th. And they have a very poor defence and a very poor attack, according to the analyst report, which is good to know. Quite pleased with that. Um, actually, while we're here, let's quickly make sure that the corners are set up correctly, which they won't be. Because I know they won't be, because I didn't set them up in the first place. There's Aaron. We'll pop him on the near post. And then we'll do the same there. In fact, we'll pop him on the... No, we'll pop on the near post again. It's much easier to get a ball into the near post than it is the far post. Let's be honest. There we go. That'll do. Job done. Right, where were we? The team for this one, back to more, probably more of your standard team, to be honest. In fact, no, it's not. Where's Brennan? Oh, he can't play. That's what I was wondering where he was then. So Brennan can't play. So we're actually going to still switch these two around because they're actually better off on the opposite wings, which is quite interesting. Um, let me just remind myself which foot Miles Hemmings is. right foot. Yes, he stays a wing. Fine. Um, so Conquo is going to be back in goal, even after Callum Rollins had a very good display, in fairness, after the last game. Uh, Conquo is going to keep in because he's just so good at the moment, like I said. Zamora, Hughes-Jones, Janieva and Kessler the back four. Sutcliffe's out suspended, so Hughes-Jones has come back in. Harry Owen at the base of the midfield. Sam Perry and Jack Chambers ahead of them, ahead of him rather. Sam Rodber, Aaron Owen, Miles Hemmings make up the front three. If you look at star ratings, this team's actually not that great, but it just seems to be a really good mould with them at the moment, which I'm quite pleased with. We have kept a enough, I would say, of players in the right positions from the last season, which I think helps. We've, Despite the fact we have have brought in a lot of new people, we've not necessarily overhauled the squad, which is good. Um, but we'll see how we get on anyway. Plymouth are not going to be a bad team at all. And of course, we're out without Dan Brennan. And Kane Kessler's got an injury already. He's got a bruised shin. He's going to be absolutely fine. He is going to carry on without a concern. I have no doubt about that. Not really much to chat about in the first 25 minutes, though. No highlights yet. Plymouth having the shots. Plymouth with the throw in, it looks like. Look at the packed out Victoria Park. You love to see that. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And always oh, at the post. Oh, dear me, it's at the post. He was offside anyway, whoever it was. I don't know if that was the guy who took the shot, because he certainly looked to be onside. But who knows? Currently sitting fifth in the table. I'm getting a nosebleed sitting up here. Dear me. Not what I'd have expected. Not at all. Two yellow cards in the first half. Other than that, nothing really much of note. Um, I'm going to say we, if we continue to work hard, we will win this. And then let's just do the standard. Look, I've got faith in you, lads. You've got what it takes. Never do that again, David. That's silly. Miles Hemmings. Oh, fantastic. Miles Hemmings is injured. Right. So that, that means Thistleton can come in on the right-hand side because he can fit directly into there. Um, and we'll leave everything else for now. I think um, Kessler's going to be the next one to come off, isn't he? Because he's not looking. He doesn't seem particularly happy, I don't think. Bless him. And we'll make that change now. He said something on here. What did it say? Hampered by his injury. Well, it's all right, because Brooklyn Genesini can come on and he can fix everything. And we'll make him a defensive fullback just to tighten things up a little bit if we need to. Aaron Owen not really turning up, unfortunately. Tommy Wright maybe. We'll introduce him at some point. I'm going to demand more as well. If that makes a difference. It's another highlight where Plymouth have got the ball. Look at that packed out stand. I mean, it's not packed out. I can see empty seats, but we'll assume it's packed out. It looks beautiful, whatever it is. Chambers picks that up. Janieva to Owen to Perry. This is nice. It's nice in the boys building it up a little bit. That's the good thing. We have this 4-3-3 this three, three is very much a, a patient build up. And our own has been played in over the top. Oh, how has he missed that? Oh, it's a. I mean, it's a good save, but I feel like he should have. Feel like he should have say. Uh, should have scored that. 
and it comes back out to Chambers again. Second bite of the cherry. Dayan Hughes Jones. What's happened there? Has he shoved someone? Given a free kick, so must have shoved someone. Aaron Owen probably should have finished that. And what annoys me is I wonder if Tommy Wright might have done. But these things happen. Look, a draw against Plymouth is still a good result, in my opinion. The fact that we're fifth after 11 games is nothing short of a miracle based on how good this team actually is. And it's another highlight. We've got three minutes left in normal time. A Conquo big ball forwards. Oh my word, Tommy Wright's in. Tommy Wright's in on goal. Can he finish? No! <laughs> oh! Oh, goodness me. Oh, guilt-edged. Guilt-edged chance. That should have that should have gone in. If the first one didn't, that one definitely should. And I feel like we deserved the win there. We were the better team in the long run. We're unlucky that we didn't finish them, but oh, probably should have won that game. That's two points dropped. But look, 19 points. We are 11 points, I think I saw there. Clear of the relegation zone. That's big. That is big at this stage of the season. Northampton and Oldershot. Of course, Oldershot came up with us. So I can't believe that. Arthur Conquo, second highest rated player, and he's a he's a goalkeeper. Never seen that before. Let me know in the comments if you've seen that in, before in your, in your saves, because I certainly haven't. But look, we're sitting there at the moment. I'm very happy indeed. Preview-wise, we're actually further off Chesterfield than we were before, which tells you all you need to know. But I'm happy with how things are going. That's the main thing. We will come back at the start of November, I think. I think we'll come back for the Harrogate game and we'll come back for the Notts County game because they're going to be two teams that looks like we're going to be playing quite nearby. Look at this attendance. This is beautiful. Before we go anywhere else, let's go look at how we fit on the attendance stats. Eighth worst atten average attendance, but that's gone up. That's nearly where the um, attendance was before the um, start of the season, before the, we lost that. You know what I mean? I'm chatting nonsense. We will come back for the Harrogate and the Notts County game in Monday's episode. In the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you have enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button on there. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. It always helps me and keeps me happy and keeps me going and doing these videos, which is what I want to do because I enjoy them doing them and I enjoy you seeing them. And as always, love to hear your thoughts in the comments. But that's it for me today, guys. My name's been David. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.